Good evening. The state of Wisconsin is grappling with a shortage of public defenders, an issue the state's Joint Finance Committee is trying to remedy with a plan to increase pay for the position. Yeah, but as NBC 15 told you last week, some attorneys believe that will still not be enough to address the issue. NBC 15's Colton Molesky sat down with the Office of the State Public Defender to find out how they are hoping to fix this problem that's been plaguing them for years. Mark Maria, according to the recent studies, this is a problem that impacts everyone, not just those working at the public defender's office. Academic research conducted in Michigan shows by paying public defenders more, a county can actually save a lot of money in the long run. I'm told the shortage of staff is something that will require time and recruiting to fix. It is uh, definitely a crisis. A shortage of public defenders in Wisconsin has put a strain on attorneys representing people in need of lawyers without the funds for one. Prior to the pandemic, staff attorneys collectively statewide would have somewhere between 30 and 32,000 open cases at any one time. At the height of the pandemic, that total number had reached almost 62,000 cases. The backlog of cases is still exacerbating a pre-pandemic issue, but the office legislative liaison Adam Plotkin says the idea of an overworked, underpaid attorney still plagues the position. What we needed was a significant investment, and we saw it statewide. Our offices were uh, tremendously impacted by turnover and inability to recruit. Plotkin says the plan passed by the Joint Finance Committee goes a long way towards fixing the problem, but catching up to something a decade in the making takes time. I'm hoping it's closer to the four to five year mark, if not shorter. Uh, right now, as you said, we have 20% vacancy rate among our staff attorney positions. If we're able to fill even half of that, it's going to have a significant impact. I'm working for clients and, and, and working to to ensure everyone has you know, equal justice under the law here in the state. Kyle Minden works in the public defender's office while he goes to law school. He says it's been his goal to work in that office since before law school. Plotkin says recruitment starts early by finding and cultivating a passion for the work. When I'm done with school, I'd, I'd love to, to work for the public defender's office and be given that opportunity. I think that the work is, is, is really important and something that I'm passionate about doing. Now, I'm told that offering better wages goes hand in hand with recruiting and creates a trickle down effect to hopefully solve the problem in the next half decade or so. A level wage means more people will follow that passion after school despite student debt accrued, which in turn will lessen the overall workload, diminishing the stigma surrounding the position of a public defender. In studio, Colt Molesky, NBC 15 News.